So for today's challenge, I am doing the dollar store art challenge. And I bought these brush pens. This pack of 20 markers. These metallic gel pens. And these grape, blueberry, and strawberry scented gel pens. Or, yeah, they're supposed to be gel ink. Then also I am going to be, probably, I'm not sure yet, using this bamboo brush from the Daiso store. And the Daiso is the Japanese version of the dollar store pretty much. It's a dollar fifty store. This thing of water, which that shouldn't count for anything. This pencil, um, and maybe the pen mechanical. Maybe this also, and this is also a dollar fifty from the Daiso store. And I am also using paper from an old sketch pad. From this old sketch pad. So here I decided to test out the markers and I got brush ones and I got the 20 pack, which are pretty common at the dollar store. I did not get any any pencils or anything, I just got ink things, so yeah, that was interesting. So this is actually the second drawing I did for this challenge. The first one was a Welcome to Night Vale fan art, and I did Cecil behind a desk doing the podcast, or the news show as it is, but the skin ended up too dark and I lost all dimension, and it ended up looking not so great so I decided to go back and do a second piece and this is what I chose to do. I left her skin white and I shaded her face with the gray marker and a part of it, uh, you guys don't see me color do the skin with the marker because of my camera stopped recording. It stops recording after 30 minutes because I use my phone to film now but anyway. so. It stopped recording, but I did her hair rainbow, and then I shaded her skin with the gray, and then I did her lips pink, and I didn't really use uh, gel pens very much. I tried to, but they were a bit harder to use because the gel in them is not super great like it would be in a jelly roll, so yeah. Otherwise, I liked how it turned out for the most part. I think I could have done better, but... It ended up really good for what supplies I had. If I had gotten, say, the watercolors, which they had watercolors at Dollar Store, which I wasn't super fond of, but they had a brown color to them, which I probably could use for a skin tone, and there are just so many ways I could have done this different. But this is how I chose to do it, and I liked the way it ended up turning out. So, yeah.
that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!